In order to guarantee the proper function over its complete lifetime, we recommend that you check and retention the belt periodically or at least once a year. Before you can access the toothed belt, the actuator must be de-energized and its steel strip must be removed. As the steel strip is sharp edged, we recommend that you use protective gloves while replacing it. First loosen the screws of both steel strip clamping rails on the pulley housing, and remove them. Then loosen the screws of both carriage covers and remove them. Pull out the steel strip cover carefully. Pull out the steel strip deflection units and the sliding bars carefully. There is a dedicated video showing what to do if these parts show abnormal wear. In order to guarantee the proper function over its complete lifetime, we recommend that you check and retention the belt periodically or at least once a year. Turn the belt manually inside out, in order to check the teeth of the belt for abnormal wear. Please enter the measured belt length as well as the belt weight into the measurement equipment. This technical data of the toothed belt can be found in the instruction manual. Check the toothed belt tension by means of suitable measurement equipment. We recommend the measurement equipment Sonic 507C of the company Gates to be used, or alternatively the trom meter of the company Hilger & Kern. Whenever the measure tension is below the minimum value shown in the table in the instruction manual, the belt must be retensioned. The tension must be remeasured after each adjustment. Finally, the screw of the tooth belt clamping element can be completely tightened. If a large gap is visible between the retention element and the carriage body, no further retentioning is possible. In this case the screw on the other side of the carriage can be used for retentioning the belt even further. Carefully reinsert the steel strip into the carriage. Carefully push the steel strip deflection unit into its rear position and put in the sliding bars into the carriage channels. Mount the carriage covers on both sides, tighten the screws with a torque of 1.6 Newton meters. Put the first clamping rail in its position on the deflection unit, then fix the steel strip cover centrally and tighten the screws of the clamping unit with a torque of 2.4 Newton meters. Align the steel strip cover centrally on the support profile and pull it flat. Put the second clamping rail in its position on the deflection unit, then fix the steel strip cover centrally and tighten the screws of the clamping unit with a torque of 2.4 Newton meters. Check if the steel strip cover scrapes the carriage by moving the carriage over the entire length of the stroke. Use a Teflon spray to slightly moisten the steel strip in the stroke area.
Thank you.